patterns of development. That's the first lesson that we are going to discuss. Hi, dear learners, this is Renette, and I am excited to share topics that are related to reading and writing subject. Well, last semester, we talked about oral communication, which mainly focused on two skills, which are listening and speaking. Now, welcome to another subject, the reading and the writing for senior high school. What do you expect from this subject? Well, I am always inspired to see students going to bookshops because I know most students are hooked on technology. Let me begin by giving you our lesson objectives. At the end of our lesson, you are expected to identify the different patterns of development, identify the features of each pattern of development, and write paragraphs using different patterns of development. Look at these plants. Hmm. To all plantitas and plantitas out there, I know you can easily name those plants. Can you guess the name? I'm not a plantita, but I have just collected these. You have noticed that they have patterns. By looking at the pattern, you can already recognize the name. In writing, there is also a pattern. Our topic is centered on the patterns of development, or we say, writing pattern. Why do you need it? We have learned that effective communication begins with a clearly organized set of ideas following a logical, consistent pattern. It is powerful for the sender and the receiver. It is important to identify the author's perspective by discovering the way the message is being sent. Every writer has a purpose for writing and some plan of action is the order in which the material will be presented in the text. Well, are you now ready to study the organizational patterns of a paragraph? Have you noticed that in your module or in some performance activities, there are graphic organizers? Why are graphic organizers essential? Well, the more you understand them, the easier for you to write different patterns of development. In determining the patterns of development in a text, you should consider the signal words aside from understanding the meaning of the text. How many writing patterns do you have or do we have? Based on my reference material, there are 9 or 10 patterns. Oh, so many. But I will only discuss 9. But since it's quite long, we will only discuss the first 5 patterns of development. Are you ready? The first pattern is definition. This is quite an easy pattern. We always say, oh, what does it mean? Well, definition paragraph tells the reader what term or concept is being defined. Definition may be formal or informal in giving definition of a term or concepts. Young people have a crazy way when they are asked to define what love is. They say, love is like a bubble gum. Just kidding. This pattern of development is commonly used in the sciences, humanities, and business. Well, common signal words for definition are is defined as, as defined as, means, refers to, to define, to illustrate. And these are some of your guide questions or probing questions. For what is it? What are its limits? And this is the example of a definition paragraph. By looking at the paragraph, what are some signal words? Well, the underlined words are the signal words. You see there? Defined as. What more? You can see all the underlined words. All right? The second pattern is exemplification. This pattern presents the general statement and then provides specific and concrete examples to expound on the main idea. It provides uh, typical cases or examples of something. So if we are going to use a graphic organizer, the best to use is a spider map or also known as a semantic map. The main idea is placed along its diagonal line while the details of the main idea are placed on the side of the diagonals. If you write all this information, this spider map, and put it in a paragraph, then it becomes an exemplification pattern. These are some signal words for exemplification. Do you use signal words? Like, after all, as an example, for example, and more. 
So before you begin to write, you may consider this question. A question like, what are some typical cases or examples of it? Here is an example of an exemplification pattern. I'll give you time to read. Can you spot some signal words? Yes, the underlined words are the signal ones. So the main idea is about phishing as a form of cybercrime and the details here is about the danger when Mr. X clicks the link as his personal information will be taken. Okay, now let's proceed to the third talk, which is chronology or procedure. As the name implies, this pattern organizes ideas or events according to time. It can either be in the form of narration or a process. That's why some writers consider this also as a narration pattern. When you narrate, you try to tell a story. You are relating series of events. Common signal words are first, second, next, soon, finally, and more. This pattern is used when you cook, for example, because you are doing a procedure. And if you see your Facebook, there is a timeline. You can use linear timeline or comparative timeline in your graphic organizer and one of the best topics for this pattern is when you write about biographies or process here is one example of a narration or one example of process this is not the whole process on how to cook rice just giving you an example of a paragraph take a look at this paragraph you have here the next, first, you can repeat it for one to two times, and after, so, and the last time, and uh, these are some signal words. The underlined words are some of the examples of signals found in the paragraph. Like, for example, first, we also have second, we also have next, what more? Can we still find some signal words here? Yes, you can find all of them. Are you still here? We are heading to the last two paragraphs. Let's proceed to the fourth, which is description. If I ask you, how would you describe your ideal person? Hmm, most girls tend to imagine their ideal guys based from the pocketbooks. Description gives information of what a person, an object, a place, or a situation is like. It appeals to the reader's senses. It makes the reader see, hear, taste, smell, or feel the subject. If you describe a thing, see to it that a reader can paint a picture in the mind based on your description. It should have concrete and specific details. Literary analysis, descriptive essays, business plans, laboratory reports, and research papers are some examples of writing genres that use descriptive paragraphs. These are your guide questions. What does it look like? What are its characteristics? When you say that your girlfriend is beautiful, that's not a good description. You have to describe how beautiful, how tall, she is or you should describe her eyes imagine that you are painting the minds of the readers okay so you can use some other signals found in the other patterns common signals like above along beyond near here is the example of a descriptive paragraph this is a short paragraph so not many signals have been used here and we are down to the last paragraph the fifth pattern is Comparison and contrast. This is a common paragraph as we always give differences and similarities. As you have noticed, even in your module, you're often tasked to write something using a Venn diagram. This is the best graphic organizer for this pattern. This pattern of organization is where the similarities and differences of two or more things are explored. These are common signal words for comparing and contrasting. And here is the example. So in this paragraph, the similarities of the two people were mentioned first, followed by their differences. Wow, finally we have done discussing. Do you have any questions? This is just the part one of our lesson discussion. In this video, we have discussed the five patterns of development. They are the definition, 
exemplification, chronology, or procedure. The fourth one is description, and the last is comparison and contrast. We still have more patterns of development on my next video, and we will have a short quiz thereafter. Happy learning! See you!